and Israel can also advance the cause of peace by taking appropriate steps consistent with its security to ease the freedom of movement for Palestinians, improve economic conditions in the West Bank, and to refrain from building new settlements, as it's agreed to do with the Bush administration at Annapolis. Now, let me be clear. Israel's security is sacrosanct. It is non-negotiable. The Palestinians need a state the Palestinians need a state that is contiguous and cohesive, and that allows them to prosper. But any agreement with the Palestinian people must preserve Israel's identity as a Jewish state with secure, recognized, defensible borders. And Jerusalem will remain the capital of Israel, and it must remain undivided. Continue to say that. Uh, Jerusalem will be the capital of Israel, and I have said that before, and I will say it again. Uh, and I also have said that uh, it is important that we don't simply slice the city in half, but I've also said that that's a final status issue. That's an issue that has to be dealt with the parties involved, the Palestinians and the Israelis, and it's not the job of the United States to dictate the form in which that uh, will take, but rather to support uh, uh, that are being made right now to resolve these very difficult issues uh, that have a long history. Now, in terms of knowing my commitments, uh, you don't have to just look at my words, you can look at my deeds. Uh, just this past, uh, this past week, we passed out of the U.S. Senate Banking Committee, which is my committee, a bill to uh, call for divestment from Iran as a way of ratcheting up the pressure to ensure that they don't uh, obtain a nuclear weapon. Uh, when Israel invaded Lebanon in response to the kidnapping of uh, Israel's soldiers, uh, I was one of the first people to state that Israel had an unequivocal right to defend itself and captured, and that is what any country would do. Uh, on vote after vote, I have demonstrated my support of the state of Israel. So. Uh, the way you know where somebody's going is where have they been. And uh, I've been uh, with Israel uh, for many, many years now. What is also true is I believe it is strongly in the interests of Israel's security to arrive at a lasting peace with the Palestinian people. Uh, I don't think those positions are contradictory. I think they are complementary. Uh, you know, it, it is going to be hard for Israel over the long term, and this is something that I think the vast majority of Israelis understand.